ever wants to see me. Take that depression. <laughs> <laughs> no way to say that. Hey there, either hold or fire familia. Welcome to the Narjun Reacts. In this video, we're reacting to Has Been Hotel, season one, episode five. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All I know for this episode that I've seen, and possibly for the next episode, is that uh, um, I know Lucifer is gonna be in it, and then I think he has a duet with with Charlie, and then a duet with Alistair. But I'm pretty certain with Charlie, but Alistair, I'm not sure. That's all I know for this episode, and maybe the next, if the Alistair one's in the next episode. But I'm avoiding like the internet, like the plague right now, until I've reacted to these two episodes. We're seeing Baggy in their bed. Oh wow, you guys got a night. <laughs> First freaking husk would have an F Monday's cup <laughs> or mug. Oh, wait, I want to see their bed. Oh, you two have a nice bed. Wait, what is that photo of? I can't. I can't tell what that photo is. Oh my god, you're starting to look a little conspiracy there, Charlie. Oh my god, are these all like exercises she's trying to come up with? Looks like a freaking conspiracy board. But hold up. Uh. What's that? Oh. Oh, Lilith has. Well, I didn't think Lilith had horns, but I guess it makes sense. Actually, no. It does, because Charlie's got horns that grow. So I wonder if that's. She gets that from Lilith. So I don't think Lucifer has horns. That or he has little stubby ones. Okay, I gotta see this. Are there any that we can make out? Uh, got the very top redemption. I see an angel dust spider. <laughs> That's literally a spider. Um, I see uh, the hotel. I see alcohol guns. Looks like a swan uh, sculpture. Uh, dead smiley face. Uh, evidence index hell. Oh my god, wait. Why does that look like a drawing of Pinches with the, with all of them like curled up together? Uh, uh, Charlie, Charlie. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Honey, love of my life. No. To, uh, to take a deep breath. Dad. Oh, dad's help. Dad. He let the extermination happen to begin with. They just had a meeting yeah. and said, go ahead and Yeah, that I found out that he the exterminations don't happen without him signing it off. So it's interesting that Lucifer I guess because it's a deal they've made, so they don't just rain hell upon hell. <laughs> They, let's just say they don't rain heaven upon hell and wipe out everyone that he's made a deal. Like I know they explained it in the first episode where it's like how it worked, but it's not that Lucifer's doing it because he's like backstabbing the citizens of hell. It's just that it's like a necessary evil for them to all live. Wait, that's it. What? No. Nifty freaking just pulls out a knife ready to do that. Nifty is the Chucky of this of this group. Didn't we already try that? Well, yeah. Sorta. Of. Adam, he was an asshole. Asshole. <laughs> all of heaven, we could go to the top. There's sure to be some angels who will listen. Some. Wait, 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 wait. No, we're not missing that. Sorry. Angel, as isn't that Azizel? Barbados, Belfagor. I mean, she's the princess of hell, so of course she would have all these contacts. I cannot even pronounce that. Dad is, of course, the duck or dove. I think I'm pretty sure that's dove. Egg boy. So they are numbered. Just egg boy one, two, and three. What's the hold up? You got daddy issues. No. Maybe. Just have never been close. That's daddy issues. The freaking husk's face. She's just like, yeah, that's daddy issues. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to meet the big dick in charge. The big the ultimate bad boy. <laughs> Nifty, no. Yeah, thank you, Angel. Betty's scary. He's got... Okay, they're building up Lucifer to be, like, this scary guy, but I feel like he's not. He's gonna be, like, a real goofball or a sweetheart. I think. Okay, so we got... Oh, look at 
toddler Charlie with Lucifer and Lilith. At least they're a happy family. Like you would think, you know, having dad, your dad being Lucifer and stuff, and your mom being Lilith, like it may not be the happiest family, but they are. Got the middle photo. Who's the one on the top right? Is that? Is that supposed to be like a a, a Easter egg of Wednesday from Adam's family? That or it's a sister that that Charlie has. That they don't talk about <laughs> ever. Oh wait, no. It, it has uh. They have um, the red thing on their cheeks, like what Charlie and Lucifer have. So I wonder, that's either Charlie, like, cosplaying or in a, in a costume, or it's uh, uh, a sister. Almost there. Oh, hello, Lucifer. Okay, so freaking his icon is a duck. I thought it was like a dove or something, but of course it'd be a duck. He's a How many ducks do you have, sir? Ah, that spits fire. Of course it would. He's a goof. He's a goof. All right, let me see more photos. Who's on the right photo with him? That almost looks like he could be his brother, but like a different color. I think, Lucifer, we need to talk about your duck thing. You have, and there's a duck like that's got like multiple eyes on it. Okay, we definitely see, okay, even though we haven't seen Lilith yet, just this brief, like, few seconds of Lucifer, I see where Charlie gets her antics from, like, her just, like, talking to herself and her, like, almost theatrical, like, person, like, antics. Yeah, I see where she gets it from. Who am I kidding? This sucks. Aw, oh, not the ducky. Daughter, daughter calling. Ah! Oh my god, I have a daughter? Oh, That's right. Hey, hey, oh my god. Char-Char. No, no. Char. That's cute. Reminds me of Charmander. Char Char. <laughs> He's practicing to speak to her. That's something like I feel like a lot of us do. Just not necessarily with our parents, but like with someone where I do it personally with like most people. Like if I'm going to talk to them, like if I don't know them that well or I'm like nervous to talk to them, it's like, hi, yeah, how are you? I'm gonna... Okay, answer. You got the, it'd be Rafe. <laughs> hey, it's like Charlie. He had all the options in the world to call Charlie. Char Char would have worked fine, but instead he goes, Hey, bitch. <laughs> Looks. Hey, Dad. Does he greet? Does he answer the phone to Lilith that way? Uh, where, where are you these days? I'll tell. Where you have? Oh. Yeah, uh, You're just so focused on your rubber ducks. Well, you know, I, um, uh, I told you when you Wait a minute. No. Is there something about this, like, ra this rainbow here in the top left corner? Is there something about this rainbow thing? It's in the hotel. It's in his room. Oh, it just clicked in my brain what it is. Let's see. We might one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the seven rings of hell, and they've color coded them to be the rainbow. Oh my god! How did I not realize that before? Oh, that's 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 smart. Uh, good job, whoever thought of that. No, 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 no. I totally listen. I forgot. You know, I've just been really busy, you know, mm -hmm. with, um, making ducks. Important things. Well, I'm actually As the king of hell. Sadly, I missed it. I don't use the TV. I don't I, I don't think you need any help with that, Lucifer. I think your brain's like mush. <laughs> He's going to mishear her and think she said I have a big ass, isn't he? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Anything in my power is yours for the asking you just name it. Mm -hmm. That's so goofy. That's, uh, no. Look, Dad, he sounds very familiar, his voice. I don't know who the voice actor is for Lucifer. I've, like, I've avoided that. But, God, he sounds familiar. That's not Hunter's VA from frickin' Owl House, is it? He sounds a lot like, I swear to God, if Lucifer is voiced by Hunter's VA, I'm gonna lose it. This is really important to me. Pinch's face. I've ever done, and <laughs> I need the reassuring hand holding. Charlie. Please just that sounds like Hunter, but deeper. Feel the family pressure, Lucifer. No way to 
said that. Take that, depression. <laughs> okay, so Lucifer's got some stuff going on with him. He's a goofster. I mean, does that seem to be the case with a lot of people dealing with depression? Is like the one I could think of is Robin Williams, where it's like they're very like upbeat and like happy and like they usually are a comedian and stuff, but they're actually dealing with depression, like really dark stuff, because that's their way of dealing with it. So. <laughs> We're not going to get angst with Lucifer, are we? I don't want to feel like, okay. There's nothing wrong with feeling bad for Lucifer, but it's like, I don't, I, we got enough with Angel Dust. Freaking, okay. Vaggie and Tyler just had their, like, couple issues so far. Um, Pen just is fine. I think it's mainly Husk and Angel Dust that are the angst. And Angel Dust has enough, enough angst to cover all the characters in this show. Okay, people. Lucifer is on oh, military. Vominos. The cookies. Of course, she does bloody cookies. Hey, Alistair. Welcome. No, would you? How'd you spell that sign? Welcome. And it's got Lucifer drawing it. Daddy. Who the fudge? That's gotta be nifty, isn't it? That put daddy with the little two red, little red hearts. Alistair's gonna want this to happen. He's gonna be excited for this. Dad. How's it feel to get squeezed? Oh, Alistair. Why is Alistair's eye twitching? He doesn't like Lucifer, or... I, don't, I really don't think it's jealousy. I think it's just, uh... I think he just doesn't like Lucifer. Hi! Kitty! Oh, hey, yes, yeah, give him, give her the love that I can't, because she's a digital character. Oh, look how much you have grown. Still fun-sized. Still fun-sized. My little girl. You better be. Ah, there's that side of him. So wait, they're they're the two little goat flying demon things. They're there to protect Charlie. Uh, I thought they were just pets. Uh -huh. yeah. Freaking how tall Angel is! I love how like Lucifer comes to like his like waist. <laughs> it's got a lot of character. Oh, I thought he was gonna say charm. Lucifer. You were. <laughs> Shakes him by the his staff. Oh, does Lucifer not like being referenced as short? Oh yeah, because Charlie's even taller than Dad. So did she get her height from Luc Lilith? She had to have. You the bellhop. The bellhop. I am the host of the hotel. You might have heard of me from my radio broadcast. Hmm. No. Nope. I guess that's why Charlie called it the Has Been Hotel. Ha <laughs> <laughs> That's the name that freaking Alistair came up with. He just, Lucifer, without even realizing it, just turned his own name against him. <laughs> I love this. These two are going to, these two are going to have a thing that like, you have Alistair like in Vox, but Alistair has like the, um, upper hand when it comes to Vox. Meanwhile, I feel like these two are gonna have even pretty even playing field. Maybe Lucifer a bit more. It was actually my idea. Is this why the episode's called Dad Be Dad? Wait, is Alistair gonna take on a dad role with Charlie and get jealous because he f like looks at starts to look at Charlie as like a daughter and he starts to No way, right? Alistair like only cares about like from what I read, it was he only cares about Nifty, Husk, and who was the third one? I'm forgetting. Oh my god, who was the third one? I it was just, so far all I know is there's a third one, I'm forget blanking on that, but it was Nifty and Husk. And Nifty's more like uh like he 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 sees her as stupid, but he like cares about her. So I wonder if he kind of is gonna look at the same way as Charlie is like her dreams of rehabilitating sinners and stuff is like silly and a flight of fantasy and stuff, but he's rose to care for her. So it was weird that they would call this episode dad beats dad. And obviously these two are having a, a like connection. So, um, okay. Okay. Anyway, dad, look at this lovely part. The way she pushes him.
They had to slip into demon roaches getting it on, didn't they? Stories and intimate feelings. Without and damaged feelings. Sister, we wouldn't have been able to. What? I Is Lucifer gonna get more jealous now? This is gonna be a dad off, isn't it? I am happy to fulfill her bizarre request. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. We weren't before. Oh, Alistair is, okay. The thing with Alistair is he loves, like, finding people's weaknesses, from what I've noticed, and he will take advantage of it. So, like, with Pentius, it's he, Pentius wants to feel worth, like, worthwhile or worthy. Um, so, Alistair, or he wants, that's not what it is. Pentius wants acknowledgement. So, Alistair gets to him by never acknowledging his existence. Like, that's why whenever Pentius is like, I've fought you, like, 20 times, and Alistair's like, who are you? Because he knows that pisses off Pentius. Um, with Angel Dust, Angel uh, is all about trying, to, is all about his body and, like, uh, you know, that's his identity to him. So, and, like, his sexual appeal and everything. So, when he tries to get on to Alistair, and Alistair is just, like, not phased by it at all, like, doesn't show any interest, that's his way of trying to get to Angel. Um, with Husk, I guess it's his. I think Husk, it's that Husk doesn't like touchy, touchy, like, feely stuff or, like, he's very gruff and everything. So Alistair is, like, the rubbing, like, at least from the pilot, if, at least, yeah, from the pilot, like, when he rubbed his cheek against Alice, uh, against Husk, Husk, like, Alistair's not touchy. So for him to rub his cheek against Husk, I think that was just to piss off him, uh, Husk. Um, so with Lucifer, he's seeing that, uh... His way, Alistair's way to get to Lucifer is through Charlie and to get close to Charlie and like touch her and stuff. So, yeah, oh, yeah this is gonna get good. Quite an impressive young lady. We're all very, very proud of her. Uh, <clears throat> the fact that she gets all teary eyed and everything over Alistair's compliment, but not freaking Lucifer. Oh, this is gonna. Introduce me to your other friends. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, someone else. Is my girlfriend. my girlfriend. Oh my golly. You like girls. You so do I. We have so much in common. I'm sorry. Lucifer didn't know she was gay. And she was with someone. Oh, uh, you are such a... That's not a deadbeat dad. Um, what is it? Oh. I don't know what the term is when a dad is not in your life. Let's just say that. He's not in her life. Like, he's not involved really at all. Oh my god. She's so pretty. Lovely to meet you. She's so pretty. Uh, sir. Nifty. Hey, Nifty. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Looks like you could use Yo, whoa, just jumps into a song suddenly. What is <laughs> I swear this series goes from either a song that like gets it or like a moment that leads into a song, and then there's just <laughs> smacks you in the face with a song. I, okay, I'm, okay, hold on. I need to process this. That you can't just slap a song in my face and then just like expect me to just sit here and listen to it. Like, okay, I'm just gonna sit here now and enjoy the ride. All right, first, first with the beat. I'm already loving it. This is starting. To, it feels kind of like a dun 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 dun, dun like almost like swing, uh, uh circus kind of sound. Hold up, uh, God, give me a give me a second show. Oh my god, I didn't even realize there's too many Lucifers that do the trumpet. Okay, yeah, I need to like fully focus, so. That's not. Alistair's being the bus boy. Oh. His head. Man, he really doesn't like uh, Alistair already. Alistair, Lucifer, what? I thought we were getting Alice. Uh, I thought we were getting Charlie, Lucifer first. I'm not complaining. Are they gonna slide down the stairs again like the pilot? No, you don't, Alistair. <laughs> oh, the, the fiddle. Oh god, what is that song? Mm, there's the song with Satan or whatever with the fiddle or the violin whatever it is. Oh my god, it was I have the name on the tip of my tongue. I don't remember it's from Guitar Hero 2. 
Never mind. I'm gonna spend probably the next few minutes thinking of it. Accordion. <laughs> Pretty good accordion. Oh my god. It turned into a school song. It's going faster. Ooh. You guys. Is this Mimsy? Who's me? I'm Mimsy. Wait, why is there a bloody sign that says it's a boy? Who put that there? What the fudge are some of these dr- I'm gonna to go over the song again and just look through it. Hi, Mimsy. Who? Didn't you just hear me? Okay, as much as I wanna hear about you, Mims, I need to like go through this song again. Cause holy lord. That was a lot. I'm sorry, does he have Yelp reviews for being king of hell? Five star, flawless, greater than great. Oh, he did say Yelp. Punch of a pentagram. Actually, you think about it, I wonder if Alistair, or not Alistair, I wonder if Charlie feels closer to Alistair or more like a dad because Alistair, despite him wanting to get entertainment from the hotel and stuff, and that's his only reason for helping, he has supported her more than, uh, than Lucifer has. Or been there more than Lucifer has. What was those cars? Jack. Joker? He's not wrong! Well, faithful. I mean, he has been. Has been. Okay, I can't, every time I say has been, it just, I think of the name of the hotel. Um, I mean, he has been, um... Faithful to Hotel, he really has. That's disgusting. Aww. I think he looks at Nifty more like that than Charlie. Sure. That's slow turn like dad. <laughs> and the the freaking. That's a violin, yeah, it's not a fiddle. But I really wanted to think of that song. Mm. You know what? Hold on. I am I'm looking that up. I don't care. I'm looking it up. Uh, devil mate. Devil went down to Georgia. I just randomly thought <laughs> I was thinking like devil the Oh, devil went down to Georgia. Yeah, that's right. It was Devil Went Down to Georgia. Okay. Yeah. And then he um played the uh violin. Or fiddle. I think it was a fiddle, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a fiddle. So I think that's a that could be a reference to that. I love how he doesn't even play. Lucifer doesn't even play the music well, like the instrument well anymore. He's just going. He's trying to interrupt freaking Alistair, just going. Your parent is a dud. I love how Mimsy just comes in and breaks the song up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wanted more of Alistair and Lucifer. No offense to Mimsy. There we go. Yeah, and that end part. Okay, sorry. What the fudge is that drawing? It looks like something you would see from an SCP or horror game. We have snacks. What is that? The equivalent of the dark side saying we have cookies. Hi. What are those drawings? Who the fudge drew the... Who the fudge is the scratchy black stuff doodle? And then you have the one with horns. Is that supposed to be Lucifer or, or Alistair or Charlie? Didn't you just hear me? Yeah. Is it cause I'm adorable? Sure. I'm oh, Alistair knows her. So he's close to Mimsy? Huh, I didn't expect Alistair to have someone else that he'd be close with. Slob factory. And slob factory? Oh, Wait, did she have a heart tattoo on her back? Sake. She's got... Isn't that mama? Ma Mamons. Isn't that Mamons symbol? Sorta, of, kinda? It's got the imp horns and the dollar sign. That or she maybe it's a tattoo from the greed ring? 
same circles when we were alive. You know, this one used to oh. work with the club where I used to perform. Wait a minute. She said we used to run circles when we were alive, and Alistair's a cannibal. So does that mean she's a cannibal too? Or do she, was she like his assistant? Oh God. Watch it, tall, dark, and creepy. I'm <laughs> Instead of tall, dark, and handsome, it's tall, dark, and creepy. Wait, so they must have had a bond back when they were alive because for him not to eat her, <laughs> cannibalize her, they must have been friends. Oh my God. Uh oh. Charlie and I. I'm sure Charlie can handle showing me around our nonsense. We started the hotel together. These two are freaking. Oh my god, you got Alistair taking her, then freaking. I mean, you got freaking Lucifer taking her, then. Oh, these two. Right. Out. You let the others help you settle in, and Lucifer's face. You know it. He's gonna snap. Oh, where can a girl get a drink around here? Husk. Oh, Husk oh, is like, boy, God. Oh. Uh, how you been, Furball? Furball. I thought she was gonna call him hairball. Five minutes ago. Oh, <laughs> tell me you're not happy to see me. You might hurt my feelings. No, he's not. How's that going for you? They're winning. They're winning. Not for long. Uh -huh. Oh fuck you. Sorry. Alistair, I like what? Frank? Wait, did Husk like serve a drink for Angel Dust? He served a drink for Angel Dust Extra. Aw, uh, Husky. Why so surprised? I just didn't um, get any of those. What's his deal? Well, mm -hmm. you probably Backstory? Heard stories. He well, through Vaggy. Over The demon cow. Wait, no. This demon right here? This one right here? That's a cool design. That almost looks like a- almost like it could be a werewolf wendigo. They've got the deer hooves and everything in the- can we get to see more of this demon? This demon's cool. You got a demon with a mirror for her face? Couch. Looks like he's selling drugs. We're talking heavy hitters. No one Watch Angel does cut her off like he did to Charlie and say, you, or no, not Charlie, Vaggy, and he's gonna be like, you done? I already heard this before. <laughs> Screaming in the broadcast. So he traps her souls in there? But underneath it all. Yeah. Total sweetie, put on some jazz and pour a couple fingers of rye, and he becomes a kitten. I I don't know about that. <laughs> Stop with the looks. He hasn't done any of that in a while. Can I get another seven years, please? baby, to be exact? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Just like bye. Hey, Hoss did tag along. He's like, I'm not staying behind with Mimsy. Can I what about Mimsy? What is it? The fuck in the ways. Are you an owl too? Don't you worry your fuzzy head about it. You may own my soul, but I ain't your fucking pet. <laughs> but you are. Exorcist 360 head spin? Okay. <laughs> Big talk for someone who's also on a leash. <laughs> oh, you're on a leash yourself out. I mean, makes sense he is in hell, but whose leash are you under? Oh shit, Husk. Let's not. Nothing. I um. Broadcast your screen. Let's not. Holy shit! Dares to question me. Understood. Lovely. Yeah, got it. Crystal clear. Ah, good talk, my good man. Or Husk. Always nice to catch up. And we will. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Who's? So who's Alistair's under? I really want to know now. Who the heck has Alistair made a deal with that owns his soul? I can't think of who it could be either. Almost been able to find all of it. Poor Husto. He looked like he was about to piss himself. What do you think? About what? The hotel. Oh, really, yes. Lucifer? Right over the edge. Bye -bye. You're leaning on it. It's fine. Can you be serious, Lucifer? I don't know how much you can realistically expect from them in heaven. <laughs> Is this why he doesn't care about the extermination? Because he looks down upon sinners? Oh, so he's not going to care about the sinners, whereas Charlie does. So I wonder if that's more of Lilith's side. Boy, heaven is not exactly as carefree as you might think. Yeah, yeah you would know. But 
sets of rules, and they aren't very open-minded as you'd hope. These are like you. I just don't want you to put yourself on the line for people like. Ah, jeez, what Ooh. now? Well, like that. Oh, that's where this scene comes in with the sharks attacking the. Oh, this is who's coming after Mimsy. Is it a mob? Shark mafia? Oh, shit. Of course she. Oh, what she? What did Maggie say? Kikaranu? I I don't know Spanish, so I don't know what she said. But I was just trying to say the word. So of course Mimsy is hiding in the hotel, but. I was expecting something bigger and badder, but it's just a group of thugs, mafia guys. I may be in trouble with some loan sharks. Loan sharks. And I may have stolen a car and crashed it. And into the loan shark's girlfriend, but that bitch. Into the girlfriend of the loan shark. Oh my god. Alice is going to take this opportunity to do the opposite of what Lucifer is doing. Lucifer is taking and going, see what I tell you. Whereas Alistair is going to go and defend the hotel. Yeah, this is this is what what this is really showing is how Lucifer is kind of just given up on the people of hell. Like he, he like sinners at least. He's going, they're a lost cause. Just, you know, just let the extermination happen and whatever. Whereas Charlie is not standing for it. She cares about the people and she wants to help them. Ugh. Yeah, you you and your daughter are gonna have a big rift, my guy. Because you had the same happen, didn't you, Lucifer? To me. Go, Alistair. Oh, there is the line from the trailer. The music. This music right now kind of reminds me of uh, "Are You Ready?" Like that kind of beat. Go off, Alistair. As long as it's not toward like Husk or anyone else that we care about, go af go go for it. As limbs go flying by him. Unlike you. Yeah. Drama. <laughs> you too. Wait, is Husk freaking eat eating popcorn too? <laughs> he took popcorn from Angel Hey, Can I have some? Actually, you know what? You know what? Here. I got, I got a snack I can grab. We'll do this. I'm gonna join you guys. This is pretty entertaining, yeah. I bet you do. Oh, Alisa, what a fantastic show. Bravo. Already done? Aw. Thanks for helping little old me out of a tough spot. You're always such a pal. Sorry about the mess, but yeah, I bet you are. The little bug can take care of it. <laughs> little bug, you. mean I nifty. You should go, Mimsy. Now, oh, Allison, you're such a kitty. Is he What's gonna? Is like he like gonna tell her to scram? I mean it. I can't have that here. But you love taking care of me. He's gonna snap. You don't act. So you need to leave. <laughs> well, fine. Who needs you? See if I care. <laughs> when you stand up to your toxic friends. Oscar's just like, yeah, I eat that mims. <laughs> well, this is really getting good. Mm hmm Dad. Oh wait, yeah, we're still going on, aren't we? Okay. Still got the drama. Still got the drama. It's not we're not done with entertainment and now all 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 three of them have snacks, so I'll, I'll have mine too. Just help me. I, He's I just can't. scared. Why can't you? Charlie! Oh, it's this her song. Don't understand. Heaven never listens. They didn't listen to me. <laughs> Why would they listen they to you? Listen to you. You don't know that. I do. I tried this all before. Ooh, his voice is good with this. Too, I won't lose it all again. Mm. Now you're the only thing all them pointing at her. Oh. More than anything. He doesn't want her to get hurt or killed or something for standing up against him. I just don't by them like like I was mm-hmm when I was young I didn't really backstory on Char <gasps> baby Charlie pretty so hey mom oh mom's tall that's where the height came in there's that shot oh pinch just 
Aw, Aaron. I mean, Becky. He's, he's like, aw, she's taking after me where she wants to, like, save everyone and has a heart of gold. But for him, his heart of gold has been stepped on, trampled, and smashed. So he's kind of given up, whereas she's still got it. Hmm. Isn't. He's so short, it's adorable! Ooh, pretty. Look at those wings, Dad! Oh. I love his wings. They're pretty. Mm hmm. Oh, that was sweet. I won't be able to go with you. To protect you. Good luck. Aw. Because you'll be with me. In spirit, right? In heaven. Yay. Oh, is this where we're going to see about Baggy's history where she can't go to heaven because is, is she. Because I know with the whole, like, when the fandom that has theorized or felt that Baggy is an extermination angel or used to be one. Because we know the extermination angels uh, wear, like, a. Uh, like a. What is it? LED mask or whatever over their face. That's so not actually all their faces. It's it. So, and with Vaggie having an X on her eye, which is what Extermination Angels have, like, and we've seen from the previous uh, Extermination Angel that got killed, they had their X on the same left eye as, like, what Vaggie has. So that means they can have an X on either eye. So I'm wondering, I really do think she used to be an Extermination Angel. Like, why does she have a spear? that they have that's a holy weapon. Why does she have an X in her eye like the exterminations do? I don't know. Um, in her whole thing about heaven, like she sung about heaven in the song uh, with Camille. Um, and like she was referencing, like she was referencing Charlie and protecting her and stuff, but she was also like pointing, like holding her hand out to the moon, or not moon, uh, to the heaven globe. So in her hesitation here about going to heaven with Charlie, Mm, I think she was banished or something. Or that, or she doesn't want to go back because she's scared of being forced to stay there or something? Hey. Oh. Jeremy Jordan. I bet that's Lucifer's VA. I really want to see if that's Hunter. I really do. Was that? Was that? What was the voice for her? That song will show. Sam Haft and Andrew Underberg. Okay, Underberg. So different than the actual voice actor? All right, hold on. Let me get into my thoughts real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna also check out uh, who the VA is for Lucifer, because I wanna see if it's Hunter. I swear that is. Like, it just sounds like him, but just deeper voiced. Okay, let me check real quick. I, I must find out. Oh, he hasn't really been in much acting. Law and Order, The Flash, Rapunzel's Tangled. Wait, is that why he sounds familiar? Don't tell me he was freaking Varian. 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 He was Varian. He, that's why I hear it. Because he kind of does sound like Hunter. Well, it's Hunter's voice by him. Hold on. No, that would have been a credit to him, though. Zeno Robbins. Okay, so it's not Hunter's VA. Shoot. Sounds a lot like a book. Okay, I thought I recognized the voice, so it's Varian from Tangled. And, like, T Varian's VA was great, and his singing voice was wonderful. So, I'm not surprised they got him. Okay. Um, it makes sense now. Alright. But but anyway, okay. My thoughts for that episode. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep it from going on because I noticed that my like previous thoughts were kind of long at like 20 minutes. Uh, I'm trying to avoid those since I give more of my thoughts during the reactions. Uh, so, yeah. Let me just summarize. Uh, uh, great episode. Um, glad to finally see, not finally, I mean, it's only been what? That's, this is only the fifth episode. It's not like it's been two seasons and we're finally seeing Lucifer. This is the fifth episode. So, um, happy to see Lucifer. So he's not a, he's not, he's not a bad dad. It's that he kind of was, it's almost like he wanted to keep a distance from Charlie. So he, I don't know. It does feel like he was not an airhead, but like he, uh, he didn't really care about, like, Charlie's, like, life and what was going on. I mean, for him to not know that she was gay and have had a girlfriend, I mean, that's, like, talk about being off hands of your daughter. Um, but I don't know if that's his way of trying to keep a distance from Charlie. So, I don't know. 
was reasoning for that was like that to me seems like a bad dad um like he didn't really care in that way but i mean obviously he does from that song him and charlie sing where it was just that he doesn't want her to go through what he did which is him getting cast out of heaven and stuff so it's kind of like i feel like her fate would be worse because she's already she was born in hell so like what would happen if she stood up to the angels like they would just kill her wouldn't they so i understand why lucifer would be scared of that because obviously it's like from his first in like first we see him in this episode when he looked over at the photo like when he threw the duck and it hit the photo of him charlie and lilith he kind of had that face like sad or like regret or whatever so he does care so it's not like he's putting on a show just to make her think he cares he truly i think he truly does um but yay supportive dad so it's interesting though that we got to see from alistair that he is possibly starting to care about the hotel or he's starting to care about I wonder if it's not that he cares about the hotel in the sense, it's that he cares about Charlie's dream of it because he's starting to care about Charlie. If I don't know, it feels weird because I felt like Alistair wouldn't or it would take a while because he's he was a cannibal when he was alive. Obviously, I mean, well, no, I was gonna say he doesn't care about anyone, but then he had Mimsy from when he was alive and they must have been friends to some extent for him not to kill her unless she had something on him. Like if she knew his secret of him eating people that she like blackmailed him to keep her alive or else she would rat him out kind of thing i don't know i kind of wonder what what if we find out that mimsy when they were alive is the one that no because he's alistair supposedly got mistaken for a deer by a hunter and got shot in the head and that's why he also has that x on his forehead and that's also why he's got like a demon his demon form is like a deer ish form um and everything uh also why he eats deers because he's a cannibal um i completely missed that and i think it was no it was the third episode i missed that where he was eating a deer and i'm like why is he eating that and i'm like now it's like, first i was like oh because yeah it's a joke he's a deer and it's like no it's because he's a cannibal and he's a deer demon so or radio de radio slash deer demon so he'd be eating deer because he's a cannibal um but yeah i'm wondering would it be a twist if actually he didn't get it accidentally shot and Mimsy ratted him out, and the hunter shot him because he recognized him for being the cannibal or something. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I feel like it's just a mistaken identity because he, I guess, wore antlers on his head, which to me is weird. I don't know. That's It's weird that you mi mistake someone for a deer and shoot him unless they, like, unless they wore, unless he wore, like, actual antlers and stuff then i could see it but if he didn't like i don't know that seems weird to me i know you're supposed to like wear reflective and like bright clothing when you're out in the forest um to an extent like for other hunters but um hmm. so we got also we got to find out about the alistair is under under someone's leash as well and poor huss like that that was scary like i i who Alistair is definitely so far the scariest demon, like just threatening wise. But I wonder if it's a lot of bravado. Like obviously he's a strong demon. Like he just took care of those shark loan sharks. Like they were nothing, but they're also just loan sharks. They're not overlords. They're not. But he's also known for killing other overlords. So he's gotta be just very strong. But at the same time, obviously he's not the strongest demon or sinner because somebody's got him under a leash. So God, I really want to know who's got him under a leash. Like who's got the Alistair under their, their leash. Hmm. I don't I don't think it's anyone from heaven. It'd be funny if it was Lilith. Yeah, no, nah, it wouldn't be Lilith. Mm, could it be? Because Lilith and him disappeared at the same time, seven years ago. Or left seven years ago. So I wonder if they both had a connection. And also, kind of... With Alistair, it almost kind of feels like I wonder if he's going to take on a role kind of like Snape did from Harry Potter with Harry. That you think that Alistair is the villain, like the bad guy, but then it turns out he was actually like, he actually has a thing for, no, I don't think, I don't think Alistair loves anyone, like is in love with anyone or has feelings for anyone. So I wonder if it would just be like an attachment, like he really cares. I wonder if he like grew to really care about Lilith. And then when she left, he did as well. Because he obviously refute, doesn't want to say the reason why he left. Um, but wouldn't it be interesting if it, Lilith, he started to care for her, and then she left, and then he did. Um, but now he's back because he hears about Charlie's endeavor. 
and he wants to help her dream come true because he cares about Lilith and because Charlie's Lilith's daughter, he therefore cares about Charlie, just like how Snape cared about Harry because that was um, Harry's mom's or Harry's mom. Um, so it'd be interesting if they go that route. Like, I'm not against it. I, 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 didn't, I honestly wouldn't want Alistair to just be the antagonist for the whole series where he's like always trying to like always, not always, um, that he's kind of hoping for the hotel's failure because he just wants to, see, like, he said in the pilot, he just wants to see them trip and stumble and fall on their way, on their climb to redemption and all that stuff. Like, that's all he's about. I'm like, no, nah. I feel like, I mean, don't get me wrong, he'd be entertaining still, but I feel like give him more depth than that. Like, he's not, I don't know, he's like, it's like, I try, it's like, then again, why? Why am I trying to make a character that was a cannibal when he was alive, like, into a good guy? It's like, some people are just bad. Like, they're, they're, they're <laughs> whether they were bad alive and then died and went to hell or kind of thing, it's like, they're still, not all of them are going to be redeemable. So, it'd be interesting if Alistair does. I mean, he, I want to believe that he has changed. Or not has changed, but he'll start warming up to Charlie and caring and stuff. Like, this episode may hint to that, but at the same time, it may be just a whole facade and a fake out by him. So, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. And also that hint, last thing, that hint with uh, Vaggie and her obviously not wanting to go to heaven. So I wonder if the next episode is going to be about that. Is them going to heaven? Or a meeting in heaven and Vaggie's going to go along and we're going to get more backstory in Vaggie. This is going to be, this is going to, this is getting interesting. This is getting good. Feels like, it kind of feels like stuff's going fast a little bit in the sense of like, we're already having, uh... Lucifer and Charlie kind of make up and stuff. Like, I expected that to go on for a bit, but it was like, like, stuff's being brought really fast. I wonder if it's because I think there's only eight episodes per season. And if we're getting the three seasons only, that's only... That's only 25 episodes in total. Which is typically the amount for, like, a season in a in a couple of the next season. So, maybe that's why things are, feel like they're moving fast. But I don't know. But, um... Yeah! Uh, plot was great. Characters were amazing. Also, Mimsy. I don't trust her. I don't, she, I don't know about her. I don't really care for her. Like she, I feel like is just going to bring more trouble to the hotel or whatever. And I don't like it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care for Mimsy. If we never see her again, I'll be fine with that. Like, I don't know. I, I, I didn't like her. I didn't care for her character. Um, but yeah, anyway, characters were amazing. Animation was great. And music was, mwah. uh, I would say my favorite song. Honestly, I liked the first like three quarters of Alistair and Char uh, Alistair and Lucifer's song, um, until Mimsy popped in, um, and then I really liked Charlie and Lucifer's song. That was sweet. Um, probably my favorite, more soft song. Yeah, like softish song for the se uh, season so far. Um, Cause I know we've had like Camille and Vaggie's one. Um, I think that's that one, and and now Charlie and Lucifer's song are the only ones that were like softish like more emotional not so much like dancey poppy kind of song um so this one would be my favorite in terms of like more emotive more emotion emotional song um but yeah anyway those are my thoughts for this episode i'm trying to avoid it from being 10 minutes it probably has been I'm ignoring that ignoring the has been uh yeah uh, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you like early access to my full unedited reactions, go join my Patreon. Link in the description and pin comment below. But anyway, have a wonderful morning, afternight, and keep bringing bright. See ya!